Haley, do you think people are materialistic? Yes. <laughs> well, good morning, guys, and welcome to the show. Today we have a show topic. Materials, possessions, things that you own, things that you can't live without, stuff that we have that isn't living beings, but we need it. We feel we have to have it to get us through the day that just makes us us, which is weird because we need things to make us us. Anyways, we're gonna talk about that today. What do you think your first possession was that really made you you? Like something that, that you got that was like, you had to have. Well, okay, let me put it to you this way. When you're a baby, your binky is everything, right? Like that piece of material is, you have to have it with you. It's your safety net, your whoopee as it was. What's the one thing in your life that You'd be devastated if it was gone tomorrow. I know the answer to this question. I'm just not going to tell you. What? You don't know what it is? Think hard. What is the one thing that you absolutely <laughs> have to have? It doesn't remember. It doesn't have to be big or special. It's just the one thing that your life is not complete if you didn't have with you. Five hours later. It's a blanket. Oh, I love my blanket. Exactly. So she has a blanket that one of Sue's great aunts, we'll just say relative, made her when she was a baby. And she's kept this blanket with her since 21 years old. It's very <laughs> delicate. Knowing that, what is the current thing? I, I, I get you say your phone. And I feel a lot of people are that way. Like their phone has become, I like can't function without it's so it. so irritating. They break it, they're devastated. If, if it's not charged, like, I'm, a, I'm a 5%. I'm a 5%. Who's got a battery? Who's got a cape? You know what I mean? Like, we have to have these things. One of the things that drives me crazy about a phone is like, I know these two have their phone on them like 24 7. It's within reach. And I, I always answer my phone. You answer your phone. Your mother, on the other hand, it's like during business hours, I expect her not to answer her phone. But like, if I call at like 6 o'clock and no one answers their phone, I'm like, what? what? Really? And the excuse for not answering the phone, I'm to guess because I've never asked, but she's clearing a board on whatever game she's playing and if she stops to answer <laughs> me, she's gonna lose points. Probably. I mean, we all have these What's things. What's yours? Well, that's a good question. I'm not saying I'm overly materialistic, but there's things that I like in life that I like to have around me. For example, like, you know, we all know I'm a big morale fan. I love my home stereo. I think it's spectacular, but I know I could live my life without it. I'm happy that I have it. I also like all my Legos and Star Wars stuff. But there again, I know I could live my life without it. It would just be a little bit less enjoyable, I feel. I don't, I don't know. I don't think you could live without it. I, I think I could. But I mean, I like having this stuff around me. I, I feel we all do. Mm -hmm. Like you like Lamborghinis and you have a pretty extensive Lamborghini collection. Yeah, but, but I don't have one. You don't want- well, And I'm living life great. <laughs> <laughs> you collect Mickeys, these medium sized Mickeys and she collects those. But there again, I feel you could probably live your life without it. Yeah. Back to the blanket. What else is there in your life? Like what thing is it not living that like you wake up in the morning and you're just glad you have it? My bed. Hashtag <laughs> always tired. <laughs> well, you just got a new bed though. I did get a new bed. So you got a new mattress. I got the whole works. You were having problems with the new mattress. I was. Why? Kind of like Goldilocks. <laughs> Kind of like it was locks. too firm. It was brand new, so I mean, you kind of hoped it would yeah, conform to Yeah, I gave it your, a chance. You gave it a chance. Unlike Goldilocks. <laughs> that is a good point, because it's one of those things that you've had in your life for like... Ever. I don't know. <laughs> I'd hope. 10, 14, 13, a long time, years. And you've just grown so accustomed to it that it's always there. It feels the way it's supposed to. It gives you the satisfaction that you're looking for. And then one day it's gone, and there's something new to replace it by choice sometimes and then you have to cope with that longing for the old but hopefully appreciating the new i'm not very good with change i don't feel a lot of us are i mean we all like I the same stuff i think a lot of people love change really yes i mean i feel i'm the epitome of it i mean i, I can eat the same food for months at a time and not care yeah. 
and you guys, it's like, if you have the same thing within a week's period, you guys lose your shit. No, I could eat spaghetti every day. I don't think so. <laughs> I know you couldn't eat spaghetti every day, because I eat your leftovers. I love leftover spaghetti. Who doesn't like cold leftover spaghetti? No, uh, you, cold. You warm it up? That's the only thing I reheat. Really? <laughs> Question for the show. What do you think about cold pizza? Oof, it's so good. With that in mind, do you put anything on your cold pizza? For example, sriracha. like sriracha. Also, uh, French onion chip dip. And of course, it has to be Dean's. Ooh, that brings us to another thing that is super materialistic about. Ranch. With all this COVID crap going on, Haley got it, naturally, because, you know, she's young and stupid and hangs out with people that are younger and stupider. <laughs> we didn't get it, which is amazing. It screwed up her taste buds. So there's a friend of yours, taste buds, that you've lost. Even though it's not a materialistic yeah. thing, I the panic things, every day. <laughs> the things that that, it's like, how am I gonna live without it ranch? It such joy. Because of that, how has ranch been? Disgusting. Right? Sad. So you so, lost that one thing that, you, that defined you as a young... Everyone knew me as a ranch lover. You know, you know I don't know what to do. You know what condiments to use. Everything I eat now is plain. It's gross. I need something. And I've never really been a fan of ketchup. No. I've been going to places and ordering if they have it like sweet and spicy sauce which is pretty good it's filling somewhat of the void she's not the same you had this thing that defined you as a person go materialistic it's it's, so it, weird. yeah i mean it was so funny i mean we go out to eat with the soccer team and the coach would just know to order a bowl of ranch to put in the he center of the table he was gonna give me a ranch fountain at my wedding <laughs> Now it just has to be chocolate. Oh, which brings us to chocolate. How do you feel about chocolate now? Is dark chocolate okay? But regular chocolate's just not doing it for you. All right, another question I want to ask. This is a two for a. So tell us whether you like cold pizza or not, as well as what is the one thing that gets you through your day, just knowing that you own and that you'd be lost without it? Obviously, that's the question that, that really needs to be answered. I kind of think of it as, I don't know why I think about it. But if my house were to catch on fire, what is the two things I would grab? Yes, what are they? My blanket. I don't know what my second one would be. I mean, I would hope you'd grab your fish. Yeah. But I don't think you would. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll take living things out of the equation because, I mean, that's kind of like a gimme. You know, because you're always going to get your pet. We've seen enough stupid movies where the guy dies because he's trying to save his dog or cat. Or It's like, save the dog! As you get eaten or catch on fire or blow up. Probably be the stuffed animal that I made with Papa when I was little. I think. For years, my plan was to grab, I have a lot of external hard drives that have pictures on them. And for okay. me, it yeah. was grab the external hard drive that has all the pictures on it because I don't want to lose those. That is one of the most important things. But now with the advent of the phone and unlimited memory and storage out the wazoo and offsite storage, for the most part, I don't have to worry about that too much. Before that, it was like photo albums and things. Then it was like, make sure you grab your laptop. I put my camera gear in a fireproof safe. That way I won't have to worry about that. Hopefully it'll make it. Camera gear to me was a good deal. Oh my God. So side note, two vacations ago, we went to Orlando. And I took my camera gear for a two days of the week-long vacation that I needed it for. That was it, that's all I needed it for. So I put it in the room and I turned the backpack sideways and I put it in one of the end tables. Black. We left, got home, and I was like, where's my camera bag? Oh my God, I left my camera bag at the hotel. Drive two hours back This to was Orlando. the day that the US Women's National Team won their fourth star. And so we, were, we left so early to watch that with the soccer team. And then we had to drive all the way back to Orlando. My goodness. It was a long time. Good thing it was only Orlando, because... Yeah, that would have sucked. Ugh. But it ended well in that I got my camera gear back. The purpose of this conversation is one of the things that I myself have woken up to every morning and gone to bed knowing that it was safe and secure was my car. As a guy, I feel like the car is the extension of 
yourself. It's like it becomes a personality thing for you. At least my generation. Some of these new kids, you know, like their car is whatever Uber they just got. You I love my car. You grew up with me loving the car. Take my car anywhere. We're a car family. We like our cars. Sue loves her car. I hate her car. Me too. <laughs> Haley had an Explorer as her first car. She loved it. Dora was an amazing car. <laughs> and then when Dora died, now we have the escape plan. Houdini. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Houdini in the house. And even though she loves Dora because it was that first, Houdini is pretty nice, you know? And it's got a banging stereo, but it doesn't have CarPlay like the old one. Don't worry, we're gonna fix that at some point. Yeah, you notice how he says some point. <laughs> My Camaro is like 11 or 12 years old. I got it after Haley and I got in a big axe in my, at the time, Dodge Ram that I had. We, me being the driver, this dude did something stupid and I totaled the car. Airbags I went mean, off, road was stupid. wet. It, it just. We just turned a, cur a turn when it was raining and we spun out. It not, Dude, we spun out fault. something fierce. We hit an overpass. Put it this way. It's Every <laughs> single panel on the car was either dented, scratched. It hit everything. There wasn't one piece, one corner, one side of the car that wasn't damaged. It hit a pole. It hit the, the on-ramp. It hit, went over a curb. It did everything. I had to take my uh, tire crowbar and pull the bumper out of the tire so that I could drive it up the street to a friend of mine that had a mechanic shop, literally right up the street, which was kind of cool. I got the Camaro after that, and it's been a big part of my life. It was the last car I had at, when I worked at AVE, previous employer that I've worked at for 21 years. So I have memories of that car there, and doing modifications on it there, never put a stereo on it. But a lot of cool pieces of Boba Fett paraphernalia that I had done to it. Uh, we had custom headrests made with the Boba Fett logo. There was a lot of fun stuff that we did. Getting old though, just like myself, you, you know. And it was time for it to, to move on to somebody else. It was a very hard thing to do. It was like, man, garage. It's like extended family. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like, it means so much. But it's also that one kid that you just want to get out of the house because you start to really get on your nerves. Things were falling apart on it. It was starting to cost it's more it's money it's to it's own it. What's that? So what I'm getting at is, I got a new car. I know this is a really long <laughs> way to get to that, but I felt you have to have some conversation to get to this point. Would you guys like to see it? No. no? <laughs> what do you think of the new car? It's pretty sick. Really, you like it? Yeah, I like the color of it. I absolutely hate the color of it. However, they gave me a really good deal on it because it was that color and apparently nobody wanted it. I was like, make the numbers work for me, baby, and it'll be mine. One of the things I've always wanted since I was a wee young lad is a convertible. I don't know why, couldn't tell you. It's just one of those things that's like, one of these days, I wanna have a car with no top. I've had sunroofs and they're all right. And we've had giant sliding panoramic things and they're just not the same. Yeah, your her car has that and they never oh, use it. Roof. Never use it, never use it. Always wanted a vert, man. Just the thought of this just seemed like a great idea. Probably not. Scary. <laughs> But hey, what the hell? Wanna go for a ride? Sure. I mean, obviously we have to. We're in some strange parking lot somewhere. So I mean, <laughs> yeah. for those of you that are car people and are going, what kind of Mustang is it? Is it 5.0, bro? No, it's not a 5.0, bro. Dude, it's like we live in Traffic Central. There isn't a place in town. All these guys that have these cars, they don't go fast. They literally drive 5,000 miles a year. I'm not paying to have a V8 that doesn't do anything. <laughs>
what did you think? Be honest, I don't care. I thought I was gonna be sick. <laughs> <laughs> Is that because you were filming or just because I drive like crap? Um, <laughs> both. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. This is it. This is the new. This is the new hotness, as it were. Stay tuned on the other channel. We're gonna do a ton of stuff with this. One of the reasons why I bought this car instead of getting another Camaro was because of the audio upgrade potential in this. That was it. That's why I wanted this. I needed this car to do stereo equipment in, and there's a lot of videos we're gonna be filming on it. We got a bunch of Morel speakers that need to go in this bad boy. Finally. Thank yeah. Thank you, Casey and <laughs> Natasha. Haley, let's end the show. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You guys have a great day as always. We'll see you later next time. Don't forget to answer the questions. Leave a comment. It's important. Makes her feel really good. Make her day, man. That makes her day. If you know, if you've commented before, she comments back to all of you. Mm -hmm. So do your part to support the arts. Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. See you Bye. later next time.